Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about rates of change. So rates of change. And we're carefully going to go through uh, a construction and do a simple example. So rates of change. So we'll start with a function which we'll call f of x. So we're going to let y be equal to f of x. Okay. And we're going to define something called the average rate of change. So the average rate of change. So average rate of change. So the average rate of change of a function. So our function here is f of x over an interval. So we're, de we're going to define it over a, b is, well, it's the change in y over the change in x. So it's f of b minus f of a. These are the y values. Remember, y is equal to f of x over and then there's a really easy way to memorize the formula. You just use matching. There's a B up there, so you put a B down there, and then minus, and there's an A up there, so you put an A on the bottom. So again, this is the change in Y. Let me write down what I said in words. Change in Y over the change, change in X. Okay, so you can think of the change in Y uh, as delta y, that's the Greek letter delta, and then over delta x, that's the change in x. The triangle is called delta. Let's change it up a little bit. So over, say we consider the interval x to x plus delta x, so x plus a little bit more, right, so some change. These are different numbers then using the above formula we have, so this is kind of interesting and worth worth seeing, so instead of B, so this, this is our B now, right, and this is our A, so it'll be, let me use a different color, this will be F of B, so it's X plus delta X minus F of X over, and on the bottom, you just use matching, right? So it's x plus delta x. Here's where the magic happens. Minus x, and the x's cancel, right? So you just get f of x plus delta x minus f of x, all divided by delta x, right? And again, you can think of this as the change in y, delta y, over the change in x, delta x, right? Where, just to be really pro and precise, where delta y is the numerator, right? So it's f of x plus delta x minus f of x, right? Being really formal here and careful uh, with our definitions. So what we're doing is we're constructing something very important in calculus, and we're about to do it. So we take the limit, so take the limit, take the limit, that's typically what we do in calculus, we construct something and we take the limit and then we call it something else, we get, <laughs> we get what's called the, here's a big word, make sure I spell it right, the instantaneous rate of change. So instantaneous, instantaneous, rate of change. We get the instantaneous rate of change. This is the rate of change at a particular instant in time at x. And so when you take this limit, if you recall, this is the this is the different difference quotient, right? So is this one, right? They're both difference quotients. They're both slopes of secant lines, right? So when you take the limit of the slope of the secant line, you get the derivative. So, so the derivative of f at x 
is also the instantaneous rate of change of the function at x. It's the limit of the average rate of change. This is the limit as delta x approaches 0 of f of x plus delta x minus f of x all over all over delta x all over delta x okay um, and you can define it multiple ways you can use h if you like um, or you can do it at c let's let's do it for this one up here so another way to do it would would be to say uh, or at c the other definition of the derivative is f prime of c is the limit this is the instantaneous rate of change at C. So you could use this formula if you wanted to. X approaches C of f of x minus f of C. This one's not used often, but I wanted to write it for completeness so you have as much knowledge as possible. Or at x, let's do it at x again, and let's do it a more nice way. <laughs> f prime of x, instead of using delta x, you can use h. So instead of letting delta x go to 0, we let h go to 0. And so we write f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. So that's, that's the one I like. Um, that's the one we typically use when we're finding the derivative using the definition, et cetera. So, so just to give you the motivation here, so what is a derivative? It's a rate of change. So like if you had f of t and this told you the temperature at time t. The derivative is how fast uh, your temperature is changing with respect to time. So f prime of t is the instantaneous. So instantaneous, instantaneous uh, rate of change. So rate of change at time t, at time t. So all theory, no examples. Uh, maybe um, in the next video, uh, we'll, we'll do some examples of finding some average and instantaneous rate of change. I just wanted to construct it. So basically, you take the slope of the secant line, and you take the limit. And so all we're saying is that the derivative is now the instantaneous rate of change. And where does it come from? It's the limit of the average rate of change. That's it.